Captain Scotty, we're approaching the black hole. Buckle up! 100 kilometers per hour, 1,000 kilometers per hour, 10,000 kilometers per hour. We can't take much more of this. Gentlemen, today we divide by zero. Yeah, yes, please. Can we divide by zero? And that's the bottom line up front. If you want to stick around for the rest of the video, go ahead and subscribe and join the Greater Gators class linked below to watch full length episodes. God bless. If we could divide by zero, there would be an inverse. What the deuce? One divided by a half. How many halves are in one whole? Think about the pizza. How many halves are in one whole? Two. This is not 28. <laughs> the saying here is the inverse of one half is two because two times one half, that's gonna get you one. There are two halves in one. Two halves in one. Let's do this the easy way. One divided by one third. How many thirds are in one? Three. This is the same thing as saying three. Think about a pizza. There are three thirds in a pizza. Pizza, 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 away. Robot. In other words, you need three of these thirds to equal one. Three of these thirds equals one. How many quarters are in one? Four. That's right, there are four quarters in one. So we Think have one whole. Pie. Think about a pie, cut it into four quarters. There are four quarters in one. So when you divide one up into quarters, you're going to have four of these quarters. Four. Some people, like physicists, will sometimes say, infinity. But it breaks down when we divide by smaller and smaller positive numbers, like one half, one third, one quarter, one fifth, one sixth, one seventh, and so on and so forth. Additionally, it also breaks down when we divide by bigger and bigger negative numbers, like negative one half, negative one third, negative one quarter, negative one fifth, negative one sixth, negative one seventh, and so on and so forth. When you divide by smaller and smaller positive numbers, it looks like it's going towards infinity. Gets bigger and bigger, but when you divide by bigger and bigger negative numbers, it looks like it's going to negative infinity. So it's undefined. That is, it is not defined. We can't divide by zero. It doesn't work. If you could divide by zero, that means, by definition, when you multiply the number by zero, you would have to get one. But there's a problem here. Anything times zero is equal to, anything times zero is equal to zero. It doesn't matter if you multiply zero by one. It doesn't multiply doesn't matter, <laughs> turkeys. If you multiply by 16, doesn't matter, that's still zero. If you multiply by a motorcycle and a Lego, nothing of the motorcycle and the Lego, that's still zero. And that's where we run into a problem. It can't get us one, it gets us a big whopping zero. So this idea of the inverse 
is very powerful. It helps us understand that we can't divide by zero. This is not allowed. When you divide by zero, you can't have one and zero at the same time. You can't do it. Welcome to the bonus section. Let's talk about inverses. If you have five, the inverse of five is one-fifth because five times one-fifth is equal to